Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to get into some NBA action for um, February the 12th. Before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which again has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're getting closer and closer to the All Star game, and more than half the NBA schedule is in the books. We have a pretty good slate of games for February the 12th. We're going to take a look at four of those games, ones that are going to be, what I feel, feel are the most interesting and most important in terms of what the standings are going right now. So the first game we want to look at here is you see a few of the games that we're going to pass over. First one we want to look at is down here, Denver and Milwaukee. This is going to be a great game here. You see the teams are heading in opposite directions, though. Denver is burning hot after winning five of the last six and eight out of their last ten while Milwaukee is dead status and loses a five out of their last six. You take a look here at the over-under, and the teams have been involved in games mainly under the line. Both five out of their last six games have been under the line. The score prediction is a rather high score, though. This would probably be an over-the-line score. The line is not yet posted, but 121 to 115 in favor of Milwaukee, confidence in the prediction of about 67%. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see here, uh, once even back on February the 4th, Denver now is at plus 29, while Milwaukee is down to plus 17. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup back on January the 29th, it was Denver by six points as a home favorite. If you take a look at the stability factor, the teams have been really very, very consistent, both at plus 22 and plus 23, both very consistent with regard to their favorite and underdog status. Milwaukee is 21 and 6 at home, and because of that, I'm going to be giving them the edge as the home team. So let's go with the Bucks in a game going under the line. The next one we want to look at is the New York Knicks and Houston. The Knicks are coming on strong, winners of four out of their last six. Now they are average status at the moment because of two losses in their last three games. But Houston is ice cold down, just two and four over their last six. Uh, Houston is on the outside looking in in the Western Conference, two games under 500, while the Knicks are doing very well in the Eastern Conference. They're up to the fourth seed at the moment. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the teams have been involved mainly in games under the line, but in the last few games over the line, see for New York and two out of the last three over the line for Houston. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, New York you can see is at plus 14 compared to Houston there at plus nine. New York was as high as plus 25 back on February the 3rd. Um, the only thing that's, that gives the Rockets a little bit of an edge here, in a, in a sense, is that they're very good at home. They're 18 at, and 6 at home. Um, let's take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup. You see back on January the 17th, it was all New York, a 15-point win as a home favorite. The stability factor, both teams are very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats, plus 25 compared to plus 20. So even though that Houston is at home and they're very good at home, I still think the Knicks are the better team. I think the Knicks are going to take this one. It's going to be a close game because Houston's going to play well at home, but let's get go with the Knicks. But I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. Washington and Dallas. Here's another game with teams heading in opposite directions. Washington loses up their last four, ice cold down. Denver is burning hot, coming off of three straight wins. If you look at the over-under, you can see the games that have been involved mostly under the line, nine out of the last 12 combined between the two teams. The score prediction is rather high, 123 to 115, with a high level of confidence in the prediction of a Dallas win of 77%. On the power ranks indicator, you see Dallas as a, on the upward trend. They're at plus 24 now. And you can see Washington is down here at the bottom of the league, again, at plus 2. Head-to-head uh, -head wise, you can see the teams met back on November the 15th, with Dallas winning in a blowout uh, as a Road favorite, 130 to 117. Um, Washington is terrible overall. They're only 6 and 19 at, uh, yeah, 6 and 19 on the road. And uh, Dallas is not really that great at home, only 14 and 13 at home. But Dallas is a considerably better team than Washington. Let's take a look here at the volatility oscillator, how stable, how consistent the two teams are. Washington is much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, meaning that they're underdogs most games and they're losing most games. And you can see Dallas not as consistent, but still relatively consistent at plus 15. So in the end, I don't really think there's much of a chance for Washington in this one. I like Dallas by double digits, and I like this game going under the line. 
No, under, wait, no, let me think about this a second. Under, no, because if Dallas is going to win by double digits, they're going to put up a lot of points. Change the thought on that one. Let's go with Dallas at over the line. Golden State and Utah. Here's a game that could be interesting, but we're not going to really take a look at You could take a look at this one on your own, but I don't think it's the most important game of the week. This one here is going to be probably the best game of the week, or the, for this day at least. Minnesota and the Clippers, both teams are coming in amongst the top teams in the Western Conference. Uh, both teams are 4-2 over the last six games, with Minnesota average up versus average. If you look at the over-under, you can see Minnesota has been involved in games mainly, mainly over the line throughout the last four. And the Clippers have been involved in games over and under evenly over the last six. Look at the score prediction, which is what I'm looking at here. This gave kind of a toss of a coin here. Score prediction, Minnesota by a single point. But the confidence in the prediction is only 49%. On the power ranks indicator, Minnesota has a slight edge of plus 26 compared to plus 21, whereas the Clippers were above them just a couple days ago. Um... Head-to-head -head wise, you can see that back on January the 14th, it was Minnesota by four points at home. And that was the only meeting between the two teams so far this season. The Timberwolves have a 17-11 and 11 road record, and the Clippers are very good 19-5 at home. Um, I really do think this, again, I think this is more of a toss-up tight game. But I do give the edge to the Clippers because they are being the home team. So I will go with the Clippers, perhaps needing overtime to win this. And we're looking at higher scoring, especially if it does go to overtime, I look for a higher scoring game. So let's go over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA for February the 12th. Happy betting and see you again next time.